So you struggling to find fresh strategies that are going to move the needle, make Google take notice of your business on Google Maps so that you get customers coming through and inquiring about the business that you do. But you're not alone because most businesses want that. And unfortunately, if you go to YouTube or if you go online, you'll find a lot of the information is just old regurgitated fluff we're going to look at some real new things today that are going to help you move that needle and get Google very hungry for your business. These tips are going to give you a real edge in rankings. That's exactly what this guy is doing here. Well, more on that in a moment. But let's dive into the very first one that involves a very simple strategy that you can follow. It's really easy to do and I call it double device management. You know, to best run your business, you do need to use both your mobile and your desktop. And your entire Google business profile can be accessed through your mobile, but it's not using an app because in the past, Google business profile app has now disappeared or it was known as Google My Business app. But you can still get to your Google business profile and it's as simple as this. Just go into your Google Maps, log in with the account that you use with your Google business profile. Hopefully the two are the same. If it is, it'll make it even easier. And there in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see the Google Business Places icon or the Google Maps icon. When you click on that icon, you can update your hours, you can add photos, you can respond to reviews. In fact, you can do most of the things that are going to enable you to give the signal back to Google that your business is being kept up to date and you know what your customers want and you're responding to their needs. So if they're using messaging or bookings, they're coming through, you can respond to them too. Now this is called double device management. And there are some things that you will need to do on a desktop. So while the mobile app is handy for quick fixes and responding to customers, the desktop area is a place you should go to. And my strategy would be use your mobile each day if you can, use your desktop once a week. And use the opportunity once a week to dig a little bit deeper, look at your insights, look at the keywords being used, look at the products, maybe add some products or add some services. Look at what your competition's doing as well. Maybe you've got a, a low car, low map, or you've got a white spark citation effort that you do. Just spend maybe an hour each week on your desktop, just building up a bit more momentum and then making sure that you're responding to what's needed. And remember, once it's complete, keep it up to date because a complete profile will always attract more customers. Now for my second tip, it's something that most people haven't realized and it's a secret suspension trap that I don't want you to get caught up in. So what is that? Well, we know that suspension will come if you have more than one business profile that's not truly a separate business. We know that you can be suspended for uh, tweaking your business profile name so that you're using keywords. Uh, we know you can't use virtual offices or PO boxes. In fact, I've run many videos on this channel that speak about some of the things you shouldn't do, some of the things people do do, and then get suspended for it. But there's one thing you could be suspended for, and I've only just discovered what this is. And it all comes down to who actually manages your business. Now, if you've used other agencies in the past, if you've used other employees in the past, if they get blacklisted, if their domain or their email is blacklisted by Google and they're managing your business and you haven't removed them from the management system, then you could be in a situation where you get suspended. So how does that work? Well, when something's blacklisted by Google, sometimes it has a knock-on effect and it could be that that person gets everything related to their account uh, blacklisted or suspended. And if they're still managing your business, then for no reason at all, with pure innocence on your behalf, you now suddenly find your business is suspended. So what can you do about it? Well, simply just log into your business, and look and see, are the people that are managing your business, are they trustworthy? Are they currently working for you? Are they people that are unlikely to cause any issues in the future? And if you're comfortable with them, that's fine. But if you're not, then you have every right to remove them from the business. But of course, only primary account holders can do that. So the advice is to take control, clean up your management account, just make sure you're in control of it so that if anything comes along in the future, you'll know that it's based on what you're doing and not based on what someone else is doing. Now, before I reveal the third tip that's gonna get you a load of reviews, I do want to just mention talking of reviews. I did do a workshop recently. If you haven't seen it, there'll be a link down below. 
It's really easy to follow. It gives you 75 minutes of all the things you can do to get more reviews to your business, which will then get you higher up in the rankings and will also give you that trustworthy, authentic appeal that Google's looking for. So don't miss a chance to join me there. But what's this third area that we're going to look at? Well, it's all down to this guy and he's going to put your business right up there. How does it work? So I call this tip number three, the review generating magnet. Thing is, you're probably tired of seeing QR codes now, just a plain black and white squares. But this is a tip I came across and I think this can be really useful because one, it makes you stand out from the competition. Two, there's a novelty factor that will eventually run out, but at the moment this is new. And three, it can actually be themed with your business. So let me explain how it works. It's called qrx.codes. I'm not being paid or sponsored by them. I just discovered it. I put my information in. I wanted to have a guy who was just going to show people how to build websites. And this is what came out. And it's really useful because it's an image, it's an AI image, but it's also a QR code and it actually works. I tried it and it works. And it got me thinking that if you're a plumber, you could do ones. If you're a person who perhaps runs a, a garden shop or a maze, you could do it. In fact, look at all these other areas. You could do it for your business. And what I like about it is it's totally free and it has that twist in it. So for example, here we've got a picnic, but what about if you're a dog walker? You could have this. If you were a person who, say, say you did tiles and you put tiles on walls, what an excellent one this would be, or this one. What about if you do smoothies or do juices in a juice bar? This would be perfect. What about a pizza place? Look at this, a pub, and it goes on and goes on and goes on. The fact is, is this is a novelty, but it gets people to scan. But what are they going to scan to? Not to your website, no. This could be used for your reviews quite easily. You can go to Google, your business, you can click on there where it says about get your link. Use that as a link then for the QR code to be produced. So you just simply do that. You ask for or describe a picture. An AI produces the QR code. It produces the picture. And then you can then use that. You can print it off. You can put it on a picture frame. You can use it on menus, stickers, posters, social media. There's no end to where you could spread your QR code. But people will want to try it out because they want to know how it works. Does it work even? Well, of course, that novelty factor is going to work on behalf of you and get you some great reviews. But remember, reviews are golden nuggets. And if you want to know more about reviews, then head over to this video and I'll explain why they're so important to your business. I'll see you there.